I think academically we have certain populations that uh, the gap is growing between actual performance. You know, you have special education, you have some uh, bilingual students, you have just students that are new to the, to the system. Uh, we have, I think we have a problem growing with dropouts. I, I don't think we really know how to address that. We spent a lot of time and, and money looking into it, but I, I still think we need to you know, apply some common sense on that. I talked about dropouts. Dropouts are a problem because I think we use data, we have a, a program now that basically identifies students in eighth grade who we feel are going to be in danger, at risk of dropping out sometime in the high school. Eighth grade is too late to be identifying kids that are going to be dropping out of school or dropping out of high school. You know, that's something that we can actually start looking at, I think, in grade three, four, and five. It's the same type of thing. It's students that aren't doing well in school, that they're frustrated with school, they're not making the, the adequate progress that they need to make, and they're getting passed around from program to program. They become discipline issues, they become students that don't attend school, the next thing you know, they're placed into programs where they don't have any shot of making it, and they drop out. And we know that. That, that isn't something that, you know, again, that, that's just common sense. We need to address that, pro that a lot sooner than we do. And we can do that. We can look at families that have been in the city that, did, that you know, their grandparents didn't finish high school. Their kids didn't finish high school and now their grandchildren don't finish high school. And, it's, and it's, it's, it really is as simple as talking to those people and see why. What, what, was, what were the roadblocks that caused this to happen? And if you know, we have a, a great high school, I and mean, Brockton High School is, is the best. The issues that we have aren't really at the high school, it's how do we identify <coughs> avenues for students to get into programs prior to failing at the high school, and to open up Champion, to, to expand Champion. This Champion High School works. The students that have had a hard time at Brockton High School go there and are successful. And, and that's what we want. And it's too bad they have to fail before they get in there. So that would be one of my priorities, to be honest with you. I just think we have to address that before it becomes a real issue. Because those students are just as important to us as they are as the student that's going off to BC next year or Harvard. We need to have every student successful in school. If awarded the superintendent's position, would Brockton become your primary residence and where you and your family would call home? Uh, I'm going to answer that first, because that's easy. Sharon and the cat and I moved. <laughs> no issues there. I, you know, I, I attend uh, St. Edith Stein Parish. I'm a member there. I go to church. You know, that's the church I go to. I drive 35 minutes to go to church. We shop at the BBM and Shaw's in Brockton. We, we pretty much do everything in Brockton but sleep. So that's not an issue. That, so that's easy. I'd like to first say who I am and, and why I'm here tonight. I'm an urban educator by trade, and I'm here because I want to be the superintendent of the Brockton Public Schools. Now, I had a great job. I'm the superintendent of Swamp Scott Public Schools, and I love the community that I work in. But every day I wake up and there's something missing, and it's what drew me into this field, and that's urban education. I need a sense of urgency to work with kids uh, who have not always had someone in their corner, who have not always had someone to push them to achieve and to exceed expectations. So where is, what's the nexus for why I'm here? I want to talk about my core values, honor, courage, and commitment. I've been very fortunate that I grew up in a neighborhood where all honor, courage, and commitment, similar to Brockton, uh, was, was weaved into us at birth. I'm from Newton Upper Falls in Newton, Massachusetts, which is alongside the tracks in a very affluent city. Uh, in my neighborhood, religion, school, sports, community taught me about loyalty, family, these are core values for me in, 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 in places where, where, where I received uh, experiences and training that, that made me who I am. But my life hasn't always been easy. When I was a young child, I was diagnosed with dyslexia. I know what it feels like to be in the basement, in the back, when the teacher says, okay, everyone pull out their reading book. Matt, go down and see Mrs. So-and-so. I know what it feels like to be left behind. I've struggled my entire life to achieve and to exceed expectations that were placed on me for where I came from or for who I was as a student. It's all about five year contract because my commitment here is long term. This school system is an excellent school system. So 
what I could bring to the table at 38 years old with four years of experience already, I'm at 48 years old after 10 years. <coughs> All right, I'm not looking to retire. I'm not looking for my three highest years. I'm looking for a place that wants to do some good work that that's already doing it and would welcome me as an outsider to come in and join me. <coughs> Which is very hard to do in many places because I am an outsider. But I'm from Massachusetts. And I live 22 minutes away right now. So it's not like I'm coming from far away. So you guys aren't going to make fun of my accent like they did in San Diego. <laughs> um, you know, so, so to me, I said this to somebody today, and I know you would ask me this question. You know, I'm ambitious. I, I get recruited on a lot of big time jobs, and you probably read that I was a finalist in Reno, Nevada. Uh, with a, I withdrew that week that I was announced as a finalist because I was very serious about Brockton. 